Hello engineers, welcome to Elementary STEM with Ms. Crosman. Today we are doing a challenge to see who can build the tallest tower. Only there's a trick to this. You're very limited in materials. So today to build my tower, I'm going to be using Kiva planks, but I'm going to limit myself and I'm only going to use 40 planks. And 40 sounds like a big number, but when we're talking Kiva planks, it really isn't that big a number. So how can I use these planks the best way to build with a lot of height? So I'm going to look at the plank. So it looks like this on one side, and this on another side, and this on the third side. And I have to think about which of these would build the tallest. Well, obviously, setting it like this would build the tallest. The only problem is it's really wobbly when I do that. So I have to think of other ways maybe to use these, maybe a couple of them together would help me build really tall, but then it still might be really wobbly. So I have to think of some other things. Maybe instead of using them flat, I could tip them up on their side. That makes it a little bit taller. Maybe instead of building a solid brick, I can build with a little bit of space, a little bit of air in it. I don't know, I've got a bunch of different ideas going through my head, so I'm gonna think about this and then see what the tallest possible tower I can build using only 40 Kiva planks can be. Now I'm not going to show you my tower because I don't want to give you an idea that then you can copy. I want you to really think about this and think about what is the best possible tower you could build. And you may have to build a couple different towers to see. And we have some tape measures in the classroom. So if you need to compare one to another, grab a tape measure and see how tall one is and then try it a different way and see if you can build taller the other way. All right, good luck, be creative, really think about this. This is a little bit of a logic problem today. Have fun with it.